Welcome to another video of Walk on the Wild Side and it's another driving video for you today. You better strap yourself in, buckle up for this one because it's going to be a long one. I've decided to do this video for, well, there's, I've been thinking about doing it for a while actually. I'm going to drive all the way to Fleetwood from here at Squiresgate or Stargate as it's also known in Blackpool, the very south edge of Blackpool, the left-hand side of the road is St Anne's. We've got these flats on the left-hand side there, Lemon Tree on the left. I'll try and talk you through the whole journey, what, what we see along the way. Now, I've got a bit of a bad back, so I've not been able to get out and walk around. I'm very, I, I can't move very well at the moment. So what I thought I'd do is I'd do this video now. I've been meaning to do it for quite a while, actually all the way to Fleetwood Ferry so it's going to be a bit of a a bit of a journey and I'll talk you through what we see along the way so we're just making the turn now we've got the sand hills on the left there just ahead there is where you can drive onto the bit well you can't really drive onto the beach but you can get onto the beach there that's a tram station for the modern trams there's one parked up there now they used to just turn around there before they built that uh, big new tram shed there. Oh, you've got the pink one there, look. So we're just making this little little turn now and then we'll be on to... You see the illuminations as well? Really, really sunny today, but very cold. So this is South Promenade. On the right hand side is... Can you see we've got a crescent? got a crescent on the right hand side that's the first of three crescents that we'll see along Blackpool Promenade you might just be able to see over there on the left the mirror ball it's sparkling away there I can see the glint from the Sun we've got coastal point on the right hand side that's a new development that was built uh, I think it used to be some hotels and there was also a nursing home there as well Solara Centre on the right hand side and as you can see there's the mirror ball there on the left Headlands Hotel on the right there that's going back quite a way and we're just coming up to another crescent where they're building and extending the Hampton by Hilton there see so that's another crescent there I know that one of the hotels that used to be there was the Warwick on that crescent there where they're building that there and just on the right hand side we've got the Waldorf and the old Kimberley which are currently well the Kimberley is empty unfortunately it's been empty since 2014 but there's a few new hotels propped up. This one here, Coastal Plaza on the right, on the corner, that's a fairly new one, I think, that one. Stay more. This is a new one, this big one here on the right, the Boulevard, belonging to Blackpool Pleasure Beach. They used to have the Star Pub there, do you remember the Star Pub? And it also takes in some of Ocean Boulevard, which I think used to have that Coasters bar, if anyone remembers, they had a, a bar called Coasters. Along this part of the promenade, on the left hand side, is where they have the artworks, which they've taken some of them down unfortunately. They used to have the high, the high tide organ just over there on the left hand side near the sandcastle, that's gone. This is the loop now on the left hand side, where <coughs> the trams turn round, the heritage ones, the, the light up ones. This is where you get on your trams. So we're just going past the white tower, the other side of the place beach now. And we've got the sandcastle on the left hand side. Sandcastle used to be the open air baths. I can just remember the open air baths, you know. But I can't remember them building the sandcastle. Yeah, I can't believe that. Velvet Coast on the right hand side that's built on the site of the Lucky Star Amusement. Pablo's Ice Cream. Station Road where we are now. The trams used to come up and down here. South Pier, of course. I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm busy here pointing things out. I can't, there's so many things to point out. I haven't got time to point them all out. But yeah, we've got the Queen's Hotel on the right now. Queen's Hotel, yeah. An old favourite, the Queen's Hotel. The Mancini's used to run the Queen's. We're just going past McDonald's. Waterloo Road. 
knocked it on his asses down there in the Dutton Arms. There used to be a windmill here. Who remembers a little windmill that they had at the end of Waterloo Road on the promenade? And it was lit up for the illuminations. So we're now sort of on the main drag now, aren't we? We're on the Golden Mile. We're just going past a few hotels on the right hand side here. Got quite a few. Chippies as well, Mother Hubbard's, Codfather. This is the Royal Carlton. And the other side of that we've got the Lords, the new Lords, which is that's been empty. It's it's been empty for a long time. And now this big one on the right hand side now is a St Chad's. So that that terrace there was built in 1891, but they're going to knock it down. The St Chad's Hotel hasn't been open since before the lockdown. And next to that is a Lindin, owned by the same company. So they're looking to knock down the St Chad's Hotel, which we just saw there in the new year to build an all new state of the art hotel. This little section here has got quite a lot of smaller promenades. We've got a smaller hotel, sorry, the Dutchman. The Dutchman there, the Royal Windsor. Okay, we're now at Manchester Square and there did used to be a windmill up here as well, a mock windmill. I've seen photographs of it. It was on top of a building. It's before my time, but uh, some of you might remember it. But um, yeah, this is where the water treatment works is here. And they have these pipes. Can you see those pipes on the left hand side? Well, they replaced the black and white tower thing. It was like a big chimney thing for the fumes, you know. So those, those steel pipe things there, they're the extractors now. They're called venting blades. Royal Sea Bank on the right hand side. This is where the the heritage trams come from the depot onto the tram track right here. I've just driven over the tram tracks there. So we're now just coming up to the, this is the bit where it gets really busy now in summer. We've got the central pier on the left there with the big wheel. It's a really nice blue sky today. It's very cold. Top temperature today, I think it's about two if we're lucky. Central Pier of course. We're just coming up to Chapel Street. Just round the corner here on the right hand side is the One Pound Burger Bar. Chris Higgins on the right there we've got Happy Days Amusements and next to that is the Waxworks of course, Madame Two Swords. It used to be Louis Two Swords. Funland on the right hand side. An old favourite arcade. Sea Life Centre. RNLI on the left there. The RNLI used to have a building next to the central pier. They used to have like one of those tiled, as you can see now it's getting quite, it's quite busy now. Got the beach patrol outside the RNLI there as well. So this is a bit now where it starts to get quite busy on the promenade. We're just going past the Golden Mile Amusements. It used to be called Mr B's. And they used to have rides in there back in the olden days. I remember when they had rides in there. On the other side of that, of course, is Coral Island. You know, I just had to stop the recording there for a while because we just ground to a halt. And this is a problem along this section here. It just the traffic. When you get up to the tower here now, the traffic just I don't know why, I don't, don't think there's anything blocking it, or then again I think they're, they're doing the illuminations up here, they're doing something with the illuminations, so it could be that. But yeah, I don't advise that you drive down Blackpool Promenade, it can get really, I mean, you know, we're in the middle of winter now, middle of the midweek, middle of the afternoon, <laughs> and you can't even move along Blackpool Promenade. We're just going past the old Sands venue on the right hand side. This is the new, what do you think to it? All black. Yeah, and that's supposed to be the Blackpool Museum as well. I wonder if it'll ever, ever happen because work seems to have halted on that place, you know. But they do have the Wild West Diner and the Spyglass Bar in there. So there's a couple of things going on. Of course, on the left hand side, I forgot to mention the Starflyer, but I'm sure you were aware of that. We've got it all going on there, the Christmas Wonderland there on the left hand side. You can see Odyssey, you can see some of the, the huts, 
On the right hand side we've got the Woolworths building, 1938. You know the Woolworths building is my favourite building in Blackpool because I'm really into Art Deco and that is just, it just screams Art Deco, the Woolworth building. And next to that, of course, is the tower. Tower building. It doesn't really have a name, the tower building. You'd think it would have a name, wouldn't you? It's a very, very grand building. 1894 was when the tower opened. And do you know, there used to be a house on the site there. Someone owned a house. I think it was Dr. Cocker, his name was. He sold his house so that they could build Blackpool Tower on the site. And he also had an aquarium as well, Dr. Cocker. And that's how the tower came to have an aquarium. Because they actually built the building around the aquarium. While they were building the tower, the aquarium actually kept the it kind of kept it going the the tower being built because funds were a little bit um they, they struggled a bit for funds and i think it was uh, john bickerstaff the guy that put most of the money in of his own money to keep the tower going to get it built that uh had to yeah if it wasn't for john bickerstaff the, the tower wouldn't have been built because they didn't sell enough shares that they needed to build it. So as you can see here, they're doing some uh, illuminations. Oh, on the right hand side, we've got Fever there, that building there. That, this site here on the right hand side, currently occupied by Viva, used to be, it was the Alhambra Theatre. Wow, no wonder the traffic had stopped. The Alhambra, Prince of Wales, the Alhambra, and then it was, oh, what did they rename it to after the Alhambra? Was it uh, the Palace? Yeah, so that building there, and then it was Lewis's, Lewis's department store. Yeah. North Pier there on the left hand side. We're now coming up to Talbot Square. Talbot Square, we've got the Clifton Hotel on the right here. We're now going past Talbot Square, all the way to Fleetwood. This is the bit where you used to do battle with the trams back in the olden days when you used to drive on the tram tracks and that was quite fun, playing chicken with the trams. Well now, as you can see, they've separated it with the Metropole Hotel on the left there. It's all separate now and you can't really crash into a tram anymore now. But there did used to be a problem with people coming up this way and then they'd end up driving up the tram tracks because this is where they used to have to switch over to the road up here but it was very easy for some people to drive on the tram tracks so that used to happen quite often. We're just going past I think this is Cocker Square. That could be named after that guy I was talking about, Dr. Cocker, that used to own the house that was on the site of where Blackpool Tower is now. There's a coach outside that uh, hotel there. Now we're just coming up to another crescent now. You see this on the right hand side, this hotel's here. We've got Tiffany's, the pink one, and we've also got the Claremont. So that's the third crescent. It's now got a load of parking at the front, but when they built that Crescent there, Lansdowne Crescent it's called, when they built it, it will have had like gardens at the front. Oh, it's a cracking view of the Lake District today. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm looking out there and I can see the hills of the Lake District and they look amazing. They've got a dusting of snow on them. We're just going past the Imperial Hotel. Imperial Hotel, one of the biggest hotels. I think it was about 1865, the Imperial. This is where Alan Bradley got run over, if you're into Coronation Street, right here, just opposite the Strand Hotel. This is the Grand Hotel on the right-hand side, formerly the Hilton, and the Pembroke, and the Stackers. Derby Baths used to be on the right-hand side, right there. The famous Derby Baths. 
I think that probably would have been my favourite building in Blackpool if it still existed, the Derby Bass. But unfortunately, the Derby Bass were demolished in 1990. I think it was 1990, yeah. What a shame. They did that so they could build a sandcastle. Yeah. It's a pity they couldn't have kept some of it, you know, just the facade or something. But they had to just demolish the whole lot and nothing has been built on that site ever since. So now we've just gone past Ginn Square and that's the Savoy Hotel on the right hand side, now part of the Britannia Group. We're going up a hill now, we're coming up to one of the highest parts of Blackpool Promenade. It is quite hilly up here. They actually have cliffs up here. It was very wild when Blackpool was getting going back in the sort of 1750s when people used to start coming to Blackpool and then they eventually developed the the sea wall the sea defences and everything some big hotels now we've got the Doric and the Sheraton we've got the cabin lift on the left there that's not been working that used to take you down to the lower property we are high up we are quite a bit higher up go-kart track down there as well which used to be the boating lake just gone past the casino there as well so we're sort of coming up now to the end of the illuminations but we've got this section here where they have the big displays on the left hand side so we've not got many hotels on the right hand side now it's mainly residential along this section until we get close to Red Bank Road and then we've got a few more hotels But we are coming up on a big property on the right hand side which is the old miners convalescent home and that's since been converted into very posh apartments as you look on the right hand side now the old miners convalescent home very very grand building that they also added two new blocks either side of that as well because it was on quite a lot of land <clears throat> we're now going up to some more hotels now though the Brinkley the Seacoat we're almost at Red Bank Road which is the end of the Blackpool Illuminations all the way to Fleetwood in this video Burbage Holiday Lodge on the right hand side highly recommended We've also got a pub there, the Highlands. We've got the Queen's Mansions on the corner of Red Bank Road. This is Bispam Station. Bispam Station there on the left hand side. Red Bank Road. We're now gone past the end of Blackpool Illuminations and we're now heading towards the Anchors Home area now. This is Bispam. Yeah, that view of the Lake District looks absolutely awesome. I'm not sure if you can see it on the quite see it on your screen though. Stone Grill on the right hand side. The next big hotel that we'll see is the Norbrecht Castle Hotel. That used to be, it started as the Norbrecht Hydro and I think it was in about, oh let me think, don't quote me on this, but we're probably going back to about 1850s maybe. 1860s when the Norbrecht Hydro was first built and it was a getaway for it was kind of like because back then Blackpool catered for the, the the upper classes when we're going right back before the railway came it was very very popular with the upper classes it used to come here to, for the sea air and the Norbrecht Hydro was one of the first big hotels that was there's also a story that the Norbrecht Castle was built not to face the sea but to face the other way, to face towards the east. I'm not too sure if that's a myth or not but it's actually looking alright, you know, it's all been painted and it actually looks quite good. It is the butt of all jokes of course, being a Britannia hotel, it does get a bit of a, a bit of stick but yeah, the Norbrecht Castle, I don't know if that story is true about it it's supposed to be facing the other way but they have a great view either way so this is quite a long straight section of the promenade here 
and there's lots of properties along the right hand side there's quite a lot of flats as well I bet they'd be quite pricey these you know so we're going to move away from the sea now because if I was to turn left we'd be going along Anchor's Home Promenade and they have a lot of ramps there that are very very severe I did a video on it and I, I don't really fancy going over these ramps with my back being the way it is at the moment it's <laughs> I think it would absolutely kill me if I went down there so I want to try and avoid the ramps so this is a section here where you can turn left and go along that new promenade which has all been done up with United Utilities there's a shelter there with toilets there on the left hand side so this is now Anchor's home and we're almost at the the other end of Blackpool now Cleveland's is the Cleveland's is separate to Blackpool so Cleveland's is under uh, Cleveland's comes under Wireborough so officially we're just coming to the the other end of Blackpool now I'll, I'll try and point out the uh, the border if I can I'm not too sure on this side there is there is a road that borders the two Blackpool and Cleveland's just up here somewhere we'll, we'll see if I can point it out but yeah we're now about to cross the tram track so I don't crash into a tram <laughs> so that's Anchors Home Park on the left hand side so here we go we're crossing the crossing the tram tracks now and now we're heading towards Cleveland's garage on the left there got a little as well not sure if we've already passed the border there's a there's a road there called Anchors Home Anchors Home Lane that could be the border I'm not too sure or it could be a little bit further up here but but this is we're pretty much in Cleveland's now I think it might be this road up here but anyway we're just coming up to the main junction up here now we're, we're actually in Cleveland's now this is Cleveland's all the way to Fleetwood we've got the Crescent building on the left hand side that's quite distinctive they've got a sofa sale room in there so now in Cleveland Yeah, this is Victoria Road that we're crossing now. I've actually done a video on Victoria Road not too long ago if you want to check it out. But we're not going that way in this video. We're going to head straight north towards Fleetwood and we're going to head right up to the ferry. Right where the tram terminates. Cleveland's nursing home. Just going past the church, uh, the parish church of St Andrews, Cleveland's. Following the tram tracks here, there's another church here on the left hand side. Let's find out what this one is here. It looks a bit unkempt actually, it looks like they're not looking at I don't know what that church is there, but it it looks like it might be one of them that the 
they might be knocking down unfortunately. Quite a few shops along this bit here. I don't think we're too far away from Dorset Avenue, which is quite a big industrial estate. I think it's over there on the right hand side. Dorset Avenue, very, very big industrial estate here in Cleveland. But the next, sometimes you call it Thornton Cleveland as well. You might call it Thornton Cleveland. Sometimes it gets lumped in with Thornton. But the next um, area that we're going to go through is Rossall. So, We'll be uh, going past Rossall soon and Rossall School as well, which is a massive private school, Rossall School. And yeah, it's uh, very, very exclusive up here, Rossall. And it also has something quite unique it has an observatory, an astronomical observatory, and that's run by. Dr. Nick Lister, I think his name is, that runs the uh, the observatory at uh, Rossall School. Now I see a sign now that says Fleetwood, so it looks like we're actually going over the border. I didn't know that. Is it? That was quicker than I thought. Fleetwood. Look at that. Welcome to Fleetwood. But the first part of Fleetwood, this side, is, is actually Rossall, the area called Rossall. So we're actually in Rossall now. Getting a bit wild up here as well. Look, we've got a bit of space, a bit of green, a bit of green belt on the right hand side. Mm, what's it going to be like in 20 years? Will it still be like that? You might be able to see a sign on the left there that says Rossall School, founded in 1844. Yeah, there's been quite a few notable, no one really famous, I don't know, no household names, but quite a few notable people that have come out of Rossall School. And like I say, it does have an astronomical observatory, very, very impressive school. With a big long drive up to the up to the entrance, yeah, and it has that astronomical observatory as well, which is quite unique, I think, really. So now, of course, we are in Fleetwood. Some of the roads in Fleetwood are really big and wide as well. A little bit like um, St Anne's compared to Blackpool, which doesn't really have big open wide roads. There also seems to be a bit of a plan, a street plan to Fleetwood, whereas in Blackpool it's a little bit higgledy-piggledy. We're just going past the high school on the left there. Oh, it's a, actually that's a primary school. It says primary, Lark Home Primary School. I think the high school's a bit further up, is it? Yeah, so Blackpool's a little bit higgledy biggledy. It kind of start, it kind of got built up around about Talbot Road, and kind of grew from there. And a lot of the plots were really small, and that's how it's very, you know, a lot of the hotels and things around near the town centre, the, the streets and that are very, very cramped. Uh, this is a school here, look. Is it? Oh, I thought, you know, I thought that was a the school, then it's not. It's the NHS. Well, what do I know? 
maybe this is the school. Ah, we got there in the end. That's the school there on the left, we got there. Fleetwood High School. It's probably changed quite a bit. Looks like it's all been modernised. So we're coming up to Broadway now. I know that because it says Broadway Medical Centre on that building there on the right hand side. I'm not as familiar with Fleetwood as what I am with Blackpool, but one of the most important people in Fleetwood was John John Hesketh. And you know it was John Hesketh who has a statue in the park by the North Euston Hotel. He was responsible for bringing the railway line from, I think it was Garstang, to Fleetwood before Blackpool even got a railway line. Can you believe that? Fleetwood, I'm going to go this way, seafront, down here. Fleetwood actually got the railway before Blackpool. Can you believe that? And it was John Hesketh that brought it to Fleetwood. And the, the, the idea was that people would come on the train all the way up from London and then if they wanted to carry on to Scotland they would just get on a boat at Fleetwood and then that would take them all the way to Scotland and that's how the North Euston Hotel got its name. It got its name after the, the station down in London the North Euston Hotel in Fleetwood. So if you go to the North Euston Hotel and go into that park you'll see a a statue of Sir John Hesketh. I think his relatives still live in Fleetwood as well, you know. I'm not too sure, but there's a pop singer called Little Boots, and her name is Victoria Hesketh. Now, I just wonder whether she, he's a, a relative. Could be. Can't say for sure but someone might be able to let me know we're just coming it's going past a massive graveyard there on the left massive graveyard there's also like um, a building on the left there what's that something to do with Fleetwood Sea Cadets so we're now well we're now properly in Fleetwood now look at this welcome to Fleetwood here we are now we're on Fleetwood Promenade. Just going past the uh, the boating lake on the left hand side, looks like part of it's frozen over. It's uh, a bit colder on the promenade. We're actually, uh, th this, this promenade runs sort of east and west, so we're not getting the sun along here as we do along Blackpool Promenade a load of grit out here look it is very very cold at the moment very icy but we've got another boat in late there looks like they're doing some training on it training Bit of a, is that a golf course on the left hand side, pitch and putt thing? Quite a lot of gardens along Fleetwood Promenade. Not, that's one th another thing that Blackpool doesn't really have, does it really? It I know we have those big lawn areas now, but we don't really have any like gardens along the promenade, do we? Not like Fleetwood and Southport has got quite a lot of gardens as well. And St Anne's, quite a lot of garden areas along the promenade so we're just coming up to an old this this on the corner now we've got the marine hall there on the left hand side massive venue there marine hall but this hotel on the right is called the mount it's a, it's a pub but it's not a hotel anymore it's just flats but uh, that was a massive hotel in the olden days on the right hand side we've got the that's the mount there with the the uh, pavilion on top there, Marine Hall on the left hand side. I've also got the Fleetwood Health and Fitness Centre and swimming baths down there on the left. So 
So we're now coming up to the North Houston Hotel, yeah. And just here on the left hand side, if you look towards the left, this is where Fleetwood Pier used to be. Fleetwood Pier used to be right there. You see where those plant pots are? That's where Fleetwood Pier used to be before it was demolished. It uh, There was a fire there and then they demolished it. So no more Fleetwood Pier, yeah. But on the right hand side, you can see we've got the North Houston Hotel and uh, oh lovely views here yeah amazing views of the lake district today it's very popular for people to come and park here as well as you can see there's a lot you can is it i think you can park for free unless you're in a motorhome you have to pay i think fleetwood beach kiosk on the left hand side and some funny building down there the lo that's the um is that the lower lighthouse that we've just gone past the park on the right where you can see the statue of john hesketh if you look across the water there, that's not end, right across the water on the left hand side. And this is where you get the Fleetwood Ferry, right here. This is where the trams terminate, the Blackpool trams. We made it all the way from Squires Gate in Blackpool, all the way up here to Fleetwood, the ferry. Look at that, the ferry cafe. Time for fish and chips, I think. So there you go, we made it all the way from Blackpool to Fleetwood. We're just going past the old docks there on the left hand side. Massive terrace on the right here as well. They've also got the Fleetwood Museum along here as well. But we're now sort of coming around the back of Fleetwood now. So there you go, that was a bit of a journey, wasn't it? And uh, I hope you like it. I've been meaning to do that for quite a while and I uh, thought I'd do it while I'm, I had a bit of a bad back. I'm going to head over to Affinity now because Affinity is just up here. That's where I'm going. So I'm going to head there now. Anyway, I hope you like this video. We're oh, going into the sun now, aren't we? I hope you like this video. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I will see you again on the next one.